This lesson is for primary students to create a very simple and easy Escher style tessellation. I love this for both math and for art, so it's a great lesson to integrate art into your math lesson if you're a homeroom teacher. So to start off, well, here's a sample that the students have done in grade five previously. Here's another sample. This student created a design with fish and this one turned theirs into elephants. You never know what you're going to end up getting when you create um, an Escher style tessellation when you do it this method, but it's fun for the students to, to see. So to start off with, I have a 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter square, and you also are going to need some tape. I'm gonna use a marker, but I recommend a pencil for my students in case they make a mistake and need to go erase and a pair of scissors. So to start off with, I'm going to do a very simple design from this corner to this corner over here. My line needs to start in the corner and finish in the corner, and this is very important. So I'm just gonna create a random design. I'm gonna make it a little bit interesting with my lines. Don't make it too complicated though, because sometimes when it's too complicated, it's too hard for the students to trace. So there's my first line. My next step is to cut out from corner to corner. Now that I have cut along this line that I've drawn, I've got my piece here. I'm going to attach this piece by using tape. And it's very, very important that you follow these instructions. I'm going to attach it on the opposite side but I can't simply take it and flip it. I need to slide it. So I'm going to take it and I'm gonna slide it to the opposite side. So I've just slid it across and I'm going to tape that very carefully here. Okay. So now I've taken this and I've slid it across and I've taped along that line. My next step is to do the exact same thing on the opposite side. I'm going to go corner to corner, creating a line. Again, keeping it fairly simple, maybe something like that, and over to the corner. There's my line, and I'm going to cut it. Okay. So again, I've cut it out, now what I do is I slide it across to the opposite side. So when I slide it across, I make sure by doing that that I don't put it on the wrong way. And I'm gonna tape that very carefully into place. Now I have my tracer that I've created that's going to be my design for my Asher tessellation. So I'll show you what's next. I've created my tracer, and now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna get my piece of paper that's going to be my piece of artwork. And I'm going to decide how do I want it to lay on my piece of paper? Which direction do I want it to go? How do I want it to look? And I usually kind of start with it almost off the page in a little bit of spots. And what I do is I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to start tracing the tracer that I've created. And I'm going to do that all the way around. And I'm gonna show you what happens. I have one that I've already started tracing and I'm gonna show you how they fit together to create the Escher tessellation. So this one, I traced it and then when I finish the first tracing, I move it and it fits perfectly into the next spot. I line it up, I trace it, and if I were even to move it down, it fits perfectly. So they keep fitting one into the other very nicely. So in this one, I can see where my next one has to go. It's going to go right in here. And then I will continue tracing my design all the way around. Now, 
The fun part is I would keep working on that. The fun part is when you're finished and you have your design and you're looking at it, you get to think about what do you want to turn it into? What is it going to be? And you can move your page around different ways. Try to think about what it could be. If I look at it this way, I see the beak of a bird and the head of a bird, and this could be the wing of the bird. So then what I would have to do is on each one, maybe add the eye in the exact same spot to create the tessellation that way. Or it, this one almost looks like a fish as well. So maybe I'm gonna turn it into a fish. So I'm going to go in here and I'm gonna put an eye. On each one, I'm going to do the exact same thing. So there's the eye. Then I'm going to put some scales in, maybe one, two, three, one, two, one. So I'll do the same. One, two, three, one, two, one. And the same again. Now it's I have my Escher style fish that I've created. I'm going to make some lips in there and I color them. I think about what pattern I want it to be when I color it. And color it in a fun color pattern too. So as simple as that, just using a 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter square, you create a tracer. And with the tracer, it will slide into each other to create your tessellation. A lot of fun, have fun with it, and enjoy.